Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Power of Makeup makeup tutorial. So technically this makeup tutorial or this makeup trend became popular and went viral whenever Nikki Tutorials done it. But ever since she had done that video and she done a bit of a speech before she actually got into the makeup, I just kind of found that I really related basically to what she was talking about and everything she was saying. I wouldn't want to say victim but I have also been, let's just say, a victim of receiving hate and abuse if you want to take it that far because of my love of makeup and because I kick it on. Just kind of want to put out my point of view when it comes to the art of makeup basically. So I just think that in the past, I would say about two years, makeup and the industry has just boomed. Like it has just overtaken everything, it has exploded, it is absolutely crazy, but it is also really, really amazing. But I also do think that makeup still to this day gets such a bad reputation and it's unfortunate and it's sad and I don't know why. I just find that people are so naive whenever it comes to makeup. I just find that some people don't necessarily see the artistic side to makeup and that they don't realise that yes, like in a way, makeup is a form of art. And I personally do believe that makeup involves a lot of skill and techniques and patience and time. <laughs> I just don't understand why people still to this day shame others for wearing makeup. And I just find that it's a shame that other women are shaming other women for wearing makeup. I also do think that like not everybody wears makeup to cover themselves up or to change themselves entirely. Me, for example, like I wear makeup because it just brings me joy. Like I am completely happy in my own skin. Like this is me completely a bare face. Like I haven't even got moisturizer or anything on. You know, and like I would go out of the house looking like this. Not a problem because, you know, why wouldn't I? This is my face. This is the way I was born. Like this is who I am. But it just saddens me whenever people actually, especially women, give other women grief basically about how much makeup they wear. At the end of the day, like how much makeup somebody else wears has got nothing to do with you or anybody else. If someone was coming at me being like, oh you wear so much makeup, your cake face, blah blah blah, you know, I'm kind of like, tell me something I don't know. You know, do you think I accidentally put all of this cake on my face and was like, I didn't mean to do that every day of my life. They're just like, oh, I hardly wear makeup. I'm so natural. You know, like that's awesome. That's brilliant. But do you want a fucking Nobel Prize? An Oscar? A star in the Walk of Fame or whatever it's called? Give for you. Everybody is different when it comes to makeup and that is... And that is the beauty of makeup and that is the beauty of the beauty world. But if you want to wear blue lipstick, wear blue lipstick. If you want to wear glitter every day of your life, wear glitter every day of your life. If you literally just want to wear a tinted moisturiser and a bit of mascara, you do that. If you want to wear a pink eye and a blue eye, you do that. If you just want to wear a bit of lip balm, you do you. This is the side here that I'm going to be doing full beat glam and I'm just going to keep this side completely bare. Ooh. So the first product I'm going to be taking is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. I actually love this stuff for foundation. The reason I use this for foundation is because it is such full coverage but with it being a full coverage concealer I don't find this to be too cakey or too heavy to be on my entire face throughout the day so that's why I have really been loving this product as like an actual foundation. Because I don't necessarily have any dark circles around my eyes or I don't have any dark spots or imperfections as such as in scars or anything like that, I don't necessarily have to ever go in with colour correctors or concealer before I go in with my foundation. So a frequently asked question I would get in the comments in my videos is why I put foundation over my lips. I put foundation over my lips because basically, as you can see here, my lips are naturally very pigmented. So I just like to put my foundation over that just to kind of 
conceal them and I also find that whenever I have foundation on my lips and I go to put on a lipstick it actually gives out the true color of the lipstick if I go to put a certain color over my lips just like this but depending on what color it is and what um what the formula of the lipstick is like it will not give off the true color or the true payoff of the lipstick whereas for example if you're doing an eyeshadow you will put an eyeshadow base or concealer just to create a blank canvas so i basically do that for my lips so for concealer today i'm just going to be using the kat von d lock it concealer this is in the shade l1 neutral with concealer i like to just put a line down beside my nose and just kind of like a few we lines just underneath my eyes. I don't necessarily use concealer to conceal as such because I personally find that I put such a heavy base anyway, such as my foundation, that I cover basically everything anyway. So I would use concealer to highlight, which obviously I'm highlighting the area such as my under eyes and my chin area, and I would also do my forehead area. So whenever I'm blending up my concealer, I kind of like to bring it up over my eyelid as well. I don't necessarily like or see the point in eyeshadow primers because I have always done this with concealer and I just find that it works for me and that's just what I do. <laughs> So as you can see it has obviously concealed just that tiny wee bit more because this is a full coverage concealer but it has just highlighted my under eyes and this is just going to balance out my face as soon as I apply my bronzer and contour. So to set my concealer I'm going to use the Equity Airspun Powder. I don't necessarily like to use this all over my entire face unless I'm going for a night out or something and I know that I'm going to be sweaty <laughs> for like dancing and stuff so usually on a daily basis I will just use this to set my under eye area where I can set the concealer my forehead area and basically my entire t-zone and in around my nose and my mouth because in around my t-zone is where I would actually get a wee bit oily but just in here mostly and I also get quite a lot of smile lines here so I also a back there and then just my chin my forehead doesn't necessarily crease that much or get that oily I usually have left on my sponge from doing my chin area I will go and I will press whatever excess powder is on my sponge just into my forehead so then just take an, any fluffy brush I'm just going to dust that off so now to go in and highlight the face, I'm going to be using my Colourpop Flexitarian Highlighter. I love a nose highlight and obviously my cheekbones. I put the tiniest bit of my cubits bow but I sometimes don't see the point in it because I put lip liner over it anyway. I'll sometimes dust a wee bit on my chin but when it comes to my forehead I just don't tend to put highlighter up there because I don't really see the point in that. <laughs> So highlighter is absolutely amazing because it obviously just gives your skin that healthy glow. Well, an artificial healthy glow depending on how much you put on. <laughs> it just gives the illusion from a distance of just like a lifted cheekbone. And obviously whenever you do your contour or your bronzer, it's obviously creating the shadow. And I'm just using the Morphe M510 brush. I just kind of like to swirl it all around. I don't like to just focus it on one area. I kind of like to go quite gently and just swirl it all around and I mainly like to focus it just on a C shape because I don't have my eyebrows done just yet I have now have I have the freedom to actually highlight my brow bone as well then I'm just going to be using like quite a small wee brush just to highlight my nose if you've been with me on my channel for quite a while now you will know that I love to highlight my nose the most comments I would get with people being dicks um is commenting about my nose highlight um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, but is it, what is it to you? Is it, is this harming you in any way at all? No, just let me be me. You know, it would be a different story if I was a sheep and copying everybody else, then you would get hit it. But then whenever you're trying to be yourself and just do things you want to do and the way you want to do them, you also get shit on as well. You can never win. So do you know what? Because that's the case. You may as well just do you in everything. I'm going in with blush. I'm just going to use this Milani one and this is in the shade Luminoso. So I can't really talk too much about blusher because I've only recently been using blusher. <laughs> oh Emma, you're blushing. Thank you. It was expensive. 
So now whenever it comes to bronzing and contouring, I don't necessarily like to contour as such. I will always just use a bronzer to bronze and contour. I will just go in first and just bronze and then I will just sharpen up acting as a contour with just the same product. So for bronze slash contour today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and this is the shade it's in here. Technically whenever you're wanting to use a shade to contour you're going to want to look for a shade that is like a shading shade such as a cool toned brown. Then whenever you're wanting to go in and bronze and to get a shade that is similar to this one. Obviously dependent on your skin tone. This one, this one works fine for my skin tone. Um, but whenever it comes to your bronzing, you're obviously wanting to get a bronzer shade that is more warm toned. Can we just talk about the brush I'm using to bronze here? Like seriously? So I always like to just go straight in and then just blend it up the way. There is no point in blending down the way because that just completely defeats the purpose of contouring. And then whenever it comes to my forehead, I always like to do the whole way around my hairline. I'm just going to go back into the brush that I used to dust off the powder and I'm just going to go along that just to soften that a wee bit. So also if you're new to my channel and you're kind of wondering why I done my highlighter first and then my bronzer, I sometimes find because I put so much highlighter on, if I bronze first, I have this big strip, basically like a landing strip on my face of just this highlight and it is so unattractive and it just looks horrible. So I basically just like to do my highlighter first and then my bronzer. So obviously whenever I'm going in with my bronzer, I'm blending it up into my highlight and it just kind of like diffuses together and just has a lovely little bond. <laughs> and it just looks more seamless and put together and just as if it's just sunk into each other. So now I'm just going to jump onto eyebrows. Eyebrows is kind of a touchy subject whenever it comes to people and me. Um, <laughs> if I got paid for every time someone gave me abuse and slagged me about my eyebrows, I would have enough money to hire a hitman to slap them across the face. I would probably have enough money still left over to buy myself a brand new set of eyebrows. Um, eyebrows is something that is different on absolutely everybody. Unfortunately, sucks to be you if you're the type of person that cannot accept the fact that everybody's eyebrows are completely different, well then jog on. This is basically just the way I do my eyebrows. I have been on such an eyebrow journey. Like I look back at some of my eyebrows and I'm just like What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Literally, McDonald's arches isn't in it. This is the e.l.f. lock on brow, lock on liner and brow cream. And then I just like to go with the brow artist sculpt from L'Oreal. So I just like to go with this first because obviously, as you've noticed, I don't have much eyebrows. And I kind of like to brush whatever hair that I do have. I wasn't blessed with nice brows by the way. The hair that I do have is quite thick so I do like to use a brow gel first kind of just to tame them a wee bit just kind of like keep them in place. Could you imagine living in a world where everybody's eyebrows were the exact same? Like honestly like could you imagine living in a world where everybody was perfect? Like what even is perfect? Like who in this earth is perfect? You know like perfect doesn't exist in my opinion. There is obviously beautiful people in the world and yeah you would be like oh they're perfect but there's always something you know if you think that there is someone out there and they're a celebrity or someone you admire or whatever that is perfect um it's not them that's perfect it's their plastic surgeon his skills are perfect. But the brush I like to use for my eyebrows is the Kira Daily eyebrow brush. So now to jump onto eyes, I'm going to use the Violet Boss Holy Grail eyeshadow palette. First shade I'm going to take is this one here. For this eye makeup look, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to do something that's just simple. That is just a dark, smoky brown eye. And I'm probably just going to do a wee bit of like a shimmer or a glare just on my lid. 
And I'm gonna take this shade here. I'm just going to line my waterline and this is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Echo Pencil. So then I'm just going to go into this shade here and this is in the shade Teddy Bear. So then for my lid, I'm just going to use the Stila Magnificent. <laughs> the Stila Magnificent. The Stila. The Shiny Magnificent. The Stila Magnificent Metals. And this is in the shade Diamond Dust. And I'm just going to be applying this first. Kind of tacked as like a base for the other wee shadow. Shadow. <laughs> oh, what? The other shadow that I'm going to be applying. Then the next product I'm going to go in with this is the Peaches and Cream Pigment, well, this eyeshadow in the shade Gatsby. So then I'm just going to blend that teddy bear shade in with the Gatsby pigment so that it doesn't just stop. So then for liquid liner I'm just going to use the NYX matte liner. So then I was actually saying in one of my previous tutorials that I find it quite hard to do a wing with a brush tip like this but do you know what we're going to try it. Then for mascara, I'm just going to be using this Le Volume de Chanel. So then for our lashes, I'm just going to use these ones here. These are by the brand T Lashes, but I have honestly no idea what style they are. Um, Sorry. <laughs> just going to finish off my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go into that Holy Grail palette again. I'm just going to go into the shade Brownie Points and just run that along my lower lash line. Like in the shade Brownie Points, I'm just going to try and pack this, or sorry, Teddy Bear. I'm just going to try and pack this shade as close to my lower lash line as possible. So I'm now going to finish off by lining my lips. I don't know, really. I am totally the type of person that overlines their lips. It's not that I'm necessarily extremely unhappy with my lips. I don't necessarily have small lips. Like there is nothing wrong with my lips whatsoever. I just like to withdraw them and that's just me. <laughs> Then for my liquid and lipstick, I'm just going to go in with this Morphe liquid lipstick before. I've never actually tried this one before or any of their liquid lipsticks and this is in the shade Brunch. I hate whenever you're online shopping for makeup and like nude shades in particular are so deceiving. Like this on the website looks really pale. Liar.
I'm just going to put a lip gloss over that and this is the Mariah Carey and MAC collaboration and I actually don't know what shade this is, it's Dream something but there's like a wee stump thing over it that they've put on so I can't actually read what it's what shade it is. So here we have it. This is my version of the Power of Makeup tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and please just don't forget that makeup is a form of art. It's a form of expression. At the end of the day, it wipes off. There is no need whatsoever to shame somebody or give someone abuse or just talk down to them and trying to lower them just because they are putting products on their face. This here, this side of my face, this is not who I am. This is not my confidence booster. Yes, it helps, but it's not my confidence booster and it shouldn't be a confidence booster. This is me and this is who I am in my real, comfortable own skin. Because you are who you are and everybody is different and beautiful in their own way. But whenever it comes to more subtle makeup, that's whenever you're actually wanting to enhance your natural beauty, enhance your natural features. Whereas when it comes to this, this is just makeup. This is just the creative side to it. This is just the glamness of it. This is just transforming yourself and not for any reason but yourself. <laughs> that makeup is a one size fits all, makeup has no gender and that there is no rules to makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. Everything that I use will be listed down below in case you are interested. So until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video. Mwah.